business so i and then covid came and i couldn't sustain the business my business suffered even more after covid so i eventually closed my shop and then i had always been passionate about woodwork you know playing around with the idea of of owning a fashion a fashion business alongside the homeware because i had been inspired by businesses like H&M and Zara, they always had clothing and a home section. Mm. So at that moment when I closed my shop, I, I was like, oh, maybe this is the perfect time to finally start the home section. Mm. But I didn't, obviously, I had closed my business, lost everything. I was broke as hell, so I decided I, uh, I, needed, I needed funding. I needed to fund my, my new business mm. one way or the other. So I sold my car, the only possession that I had. I decided to sell my car. Both woodwork tools, not... I, without a clue of how, how, how to use these tools. I, I just basically dived into the deep end with this. I didn't know anything in this field. So I had about a program at Motive called Design to Industry, which was, um, which was basically about, it, it was helping people, designers, teaching them the whole, like the whole step by step, the process of how to get your products from the paper, designing it, and then getting to the industry. And a lot of people there were uh, woodworking were in the home decor industry motive woodworking section where i learned how to use these tools i went and started training there learning about the tools uh, so yeah finally after getting enough skills i feel i felt confident enough i start taking on employees mm. so before in my previous business in um, the fashion design business i had done skills training in a community working with the deaf so i, I took a sign language course and um just so I could be able to communicate with them better. There is a total of 1.2 million people that are, that are deaf in Uganda. So all these people are struggling to find jobs. So of those, I decided, let me, if I could have a social impact in any way, let me start skilling some of those people or giving them jobs in any way that I can. So we started a project with a friend of mine where we are trying to, we, I, I skill them in the technical and creative skills. We prepare them for for the market and maybe give them to other people or I skill as my, I employ as much as I yes. can or as the business grows scales up I will take on more and more employees because I've identified even more creative there's a school of the deaf called Michelangelo College of the Deaf it has people trained in creative arts from uh, graphic design tailoring fashion design woodwork so all these people are jobless mm. after graduation they are all jobless so you intend to sort of get them in. I intend to nice. get them to employ them, uh, polish their skills, give them the practical skills they need, you know, because you've learned. It's like an internship. So I give mm. them internship and then distribute like them elsewhere. Sort of yes. Here. yes, exactly. Where's the shop now? It's in Tinder on Chigowa Road. That's where the workshop is. What's the name? It's called Emilia Home.